Hello everyone. Welcome back. After spending beautiful evening at Hunder Sand Dunes and stargazing in night, it was time to pack our things and go to Pangong Lake. It's approximately four and a half hour journey till Spangit. So we started around 10 a.m. from Hunda. Most of this road is tarmac except few patches which because of their placement gets destroyed every now and then. Although all of the journey is very scenic but few of the places are where you can stay for long time and click few shots. Here we stopped for a quick break and decided to take some drone shots. At this place you can see endless beauty from miles away. This patch will be completed soon so maybe in 2023 it will take less time than before There is a nice eating point at Agam where we took a break and had lunch
this is the patch I was talking about. Due to the water stream coming from mountains, this route always remain in this shape. This is the only patch where you have to be little careful. Some of the boulders are high so one could always drive according to ground clearance of your vehicle. Tires over boulders is good idea if you have a 4x4 and good tires because it will help to lift your vehicle so that you don't have to worry about ground clearance. If it's normal hatchback then careful trading is a best friend. I always wonder how big this waterfall is and we are going through it. Now it will be mostly a tarmac.
here at one of the section which is a few kilometers and too steep one need to be very careful and not to use heavy braking because it will overheat the brake pads and brakes will eventually fail unfortunately we forget to record that area and it's before durbuk this part of the drive is very beautiful last time we had a good 30 minutes break to click few photos here skipped a substantial part in between because it is mostly a military area and we didn't want to post here now we are very close to pangong maybe a hard drive on this stretch you can see beautiful lush green plains horses and my favorite marmots now we are able to see a glimpse of pangong lake i am visiting this second time but every time it's like butterflies in stomach and eager to reach there quickly actual road is up there but maybe it's closed for repairs so more off road which i don't mind due to comfort in gurkha last time due to hatchback it was little tiring sometimes it's a good fun when we are not on the actual road We are back on the road now and now we can see blue gem more clearly. We are very far from Lake Point. And we faced a big road block made by a water stream. Bike was struggling to go through, but in Gurkha it was a simple thing, but sad part it was not recorded on action cam, but through mobile. Parking is very far now. It's time to go on foot now. See how far is parking. Let's try to take a bullet time with Insta.
Fateh and her siblings went in the waters because temperature was okay. When at Pangong, you forget everything else. Everything in mind now is blue water, beautiful sightings, and Pangong sightings. Look how clear water it is. Now, because it's evening, water is feeling colder. Fateh, who was walking in water earlier, is now not daring to touch the water. Now it was time to go to our hotel. We'll see Pangong in morning, which is known for color change according to weather and time. Hasimin was waiting for night and clear sky for stargazing and photography. Next day is going to be more beautiful because we are going to Hande and highest motorable road Umlingla. See you then, guys. Bye bye.